Hey guys, thanks for watching Beyond Science, it's Mike Chen. In a previous video, I talked about fast radio bursts, or FRBs. These are high intensity radio signals that blast through the universe at incredible speeds and over incredible distances, and they only last a few milliseconds, making them extremely difficult to detect. And that's why we have not been able to figure out what produces them, what they say, and where they originate from. Until now, astronomers have now pinpointed the exact location of the rare bursts of cosmic radio waves that have been a mystery for nearly a decade. Researchers from Cornell University and McGill University have determined that these radio wave signals are coming from a dwarf galaxy more than 3 billion light years away from Earth. These strange radio bursts were first detected by radio telescopes in 2007, but since they occurred so quickly and randomly, astronomers thought that the telescopes had malfunctioned. But in 2007, 12, another burst was seen through the telescope, and finally, astronomers realized that something was up. That's when researchers began to monitor the general area where the signal was sent from, and later found out that the burst comes from a dwarf galaxy more than 3 billion light years from Earth. At first, the origin of the fast radio bursts was thought to be somewhere within our own Milky Way galaxy, but now we know that is not the case. Although we still aren't sure what's causing the bursts, some think that the bursts are associated with massive, highly magnetic, and rapid rotating neutron stars called magnetars. These magnetars could possibly produce the FRBs due to surrounding material ejected by a supernova explosion or material ejected by a resulting pulsar. But of course, others believe that these are in fact signals sent by aliens who are trying to tell us something. I think maybe I fall more into that second category. But bottom line, the pinpoint of these FRBs is a huge stepping stone to the future discovery of why and how these radio bursts are created in the first place. And I'm not saying it's aliens, but I think it's aliens. Next up, if you could find out how long you will live, would you want to know? Scientists at Boston University claim to have discovered a blood test that could help predict lifespans. The test utilizes biomarker data collected from 5,000 blood samples and analyzed it against donor health developments over the subsequent eight years. By doing this, they were able to identify patterns which could predict their chances of getting age-related diseases such as cancer, heart disease, and diabetes. This means that people will be able to predict and catch diseases early on, which will aid in their treatments. But what this test does not do is predict whether you're going to get hit by a car or you're going to die because you forgot your anniversary. And finally, the minority reports may soon be a reality. A company called Space Imaging Middle East, located in Dubai, recently announced that the Dubai Police Force has deployed its crime prediction software, which analyzes patterns from police databases and attempts to spot when and where a crime is likely to occur next. Now, the developers won't say exactly how the AI is predicting the crimes. They only mention that the software uses sophisticated algorithms to make its predictions and is highly accurate. And if it ever does develop into the magnitude of what we see in the Minority Report, I think that would be really awesome, yet uh, slightly disturbing. Because look, if we can stop bad guys from doing bad things before they do them, I'm all on board with that. At the same time, where does this end? Like, our computer's gonna eventually be able to predict, I don't know, as soon as a baby is born, whether it's going to be successful or a criminal in the future. We're going to have to be okay with trusting a computer, trusting an algorithm to tell us if somebody is a potential criminal. I mean, in this video, we talked a lot about predictions. We talked about predicting how long we would live. We talked about, of course, uh, pre-crime. I think for me, I just see all this going somewhere really cool, but also really terrifying. And guys, this whole predicting crime thing is not just sci-fi, it is actually coming. There was a Stanford research done about this topic some time ago that says in the year 2030, pre-crime softwares, computer analysis, artificial intelligence will be heavily used to try to predict crime that has not happened yet. But guys, let me hear your opinions on this. Do you feel like this whole computer's determining crime before it happens? Is this really cool? Is this necessary? Or is this slightly terrifying to you? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, in summary, in this video, we talked about a potential alien signal, a new blood test that could maybe tell us how long we will live, and pre-crime agency may be established soon. Also, let me know if somebody could tell you when exactly you will die, would you want to know? For me, I would not because I already get really nervous on the morning of like a huge test or when I'm about to go for a job interview. I just can't imagine when it's the morning or even the year of my death. I just be like walking around all zombie-like, wetting my pants all the time. The anticipation itself will kill me. All right, guys, thank you all so much for watching this video. See ya.